Hey friends, hopefully you can see me. Welcome back, my name is Tiffany. Today we are going to take you into the Bernheim Forest in Claremont, Kentucky. Uh, we're on a school field trip, homeschool field trip. So we're gonna see the forest giants. We're gonna do some nature hikes. There's a what? There's a lizard. We already found a lizard. Down Hold on. See anything down there? I like usually just like swipe around so I can see it like move or fly or jump. Yeah. We're following the giant yellow footprints. Why did they wear no shoes? It smells like citronella out here. I know, but the trail begins here. Careful not to destroy anything. We leave things as we find them. I'm not going. Why? So look inside of it. It's kind of cool, huh? Help, I'm getting You're not in a fire. A little tiny lean to. Don't destroy it. Alright, let's head back out to the trail. I stack some stuff up here. Yeah. You think? Little man made lake area. Fishing, huh? Okay, let's keep walking. Yeah, that's why they're casting fishing line. I see dragonflies out there. I like there's random like artwork out here. You guys want to get up there and get a picture? Then we'll walk over by the first giant over there in the distance. What? I don't think you can see it very well because the sun is glaring, but there's turtles oh. everywhere. And there are fishies. The clouds are reflecting. Tell oh. them I'm coming to say hi. Yeah, but we can't get a good video of them. Turtle over there. Oh, Allie, baby one's over there. Well. <gasps> this guy just coming to say hello. Oh, my glasses almost fell off my head. That'd be bad. Look at the that little guy's just sunbathing. He's little. Probably about like, a little bit bigger than my hand. Like half an inch. No, he's bigger than that. There's the first giant. This one's called Little Niss, according to the sign over there. They have them roped off so we can't actually get up to them, but pretty cool. Is that cool? Yeah. What do you think, Jack? Huh? I want to go walk in the water. No, the water is so gross, Alice. Isn't that cool, though? Big old giant? Uh, it's bigger than I thought. Yeah. Kind of comes with the territory of being a giant. giant. Little Ness. Meet Little Ness, the youngest and smallest of the forest giant. He likes to explore and is excited by his newest discovery, his reflection. Under normal circumstances, you can hug him, pat him on the back, and scramble on his hands and feet, but do not climb. So all through here is a ton of holly trees, American hollies. And this stone is just telling about the hollies. And Alice wanted to climb it. You want a picture? I love climbing. He's dancing. <laughs> this is not the forest. This is a field and it's hot. Really? Very hot. I can't wait to shave. Ooh, did you hear that? Grasshoppers or something? We're seeing a ton of dragonflies. Especially down by the pond. Yeah. And we just found a butterfly. I almost just stepped on it. That's how I, I found it. my back. That's how we found it. All right, now we're back in the woods somewhat. I found something. That looks like an acorn or something. Not an acorn, but some sort of. It's pretty in here. Yeah. All right, so we're coming up on the next giant. Apparently this is called the Devil's Walking Stick. Will the devils come down and then walk with it? The <laughs> Go to your walk? dad. <sighs> then Alice said she's tired. Look at all around behind it. She's got like... Skulls. So here's what's inside of the fenced in area that we can't get to. Please do not climb on Mama Lumari. We don't want to harm the baby giant in her belly. 
she's pregnant. She's pregnant. She's sleeping under the tree. We've got her feet up. Can we do carry your sunglasses on my head? <laughs> Lots of moss covered stuff. Feel it? Is it fuzzy? Rough. Is it rough? Another bridge. Yeah, that little log. I can try crossing. Yeah, you're not gonna cross that. <laughs> it's not completely dried up in here, is it? Mm-hmm. But the good thing is, is that it's not too deep. No. Following this giant in front of me. He keeps having to duck because he's too tall. No idea where we're going. We're off the beaten path of giants. And on to a smaller beaten path of people. Yeah. Big old root system of a tree. Mm -hmm. That's a Solid chance that we had an internet connection when we parked. It probably knows. Now we can see the turtles better because it's not as sunny over here. <laughs> Two of them sunbathing. Yeah. Pretty marshy over here. You want to sit down for a few seconds? Sure. Yeah. That one goes a little bit further. There's a bridge further out there too. See it? Mm -hmm. Look, there's trees coming out of it, guys. Uh, cattails. I like cattails. Anything over there? I don't see any fishies or anything. Wait, where are all the cattails? Right here. Oh, they're big. And what kind of environment is it, Alice? Marsh. A marsh. Did you learn about that in science? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Holy. Here's the last giant. What's its name? Little Alina. Little Alina. What's that? She's Who playing. Are Who are you? That. We're finding bugs, huh? This cool? Jackson's but complaining a bit. Toenails clip. <laughs> She's pretty. Pretty neat. We are walking around Lake Nevin, which I believe is a man-made lake here. What'd you do? Oh. Jackson's in a grumpy mood. He's thirsty and he didn't bring water out of the car. And he hasn't had video games in days. Yeah. We're making him walk in the woods. Oh, I mean, it's kind of like the woods. Boring. The woods are over there. He says it's boring. I'm so glad. Oh, look. Actually, we learned. I've been saying, oh, you see those trees? Those are so cool. What did we learn about the other day when we were reading My Side of the Mountain? What's that say? Yeah, the whippoorwills. Literally, they just walked away from me. I'm looking at this is going well. I was looking at that. Yeah, but look. Didn't we learn about whippoorwills? Remember he was in the, the, the he woke he couldn't sleep because the whippoorwills were so loud. Yeah. Oh, look, Daddy's gonna pull it up on his thing. Maybe. Maybe the internet connection out here seems pretty decent. Yeah. Here, Alice. He's that little jerk bench. makes that noise. Yeah. But they're cute. <laughs> I think everything's cute. <laughs> That's the excitement I like to see. Hello! Oh, you're like a little witch. Ursula. Or a sloth, is that what you said? Ursula. Oh, Ursula. He said that. Look at all the windows. That's pretty darn cool. And then there's this tree that goes into another one. Yeah, oh, it does. Very neat. Look at that grump face over there. We came out of the shade, which is a bummer, because it is pretty hot out here today. Oh, there's some pretty flowers. Oh, those big white ones? Ooh. Look at that pink one. The pink ones? Oh, this is picturesque. Yeah. Flowers. It's hard to, like, capture it on camera, too, somehow. Like, the camera isn't doing it justice, I feel. But it's gorgeous out here. I know. But the heat, it would be better if it would change a bit. Yeah. So Jackson just taught all of us something, and we thought maybe some of, some of you didn't know this either. So what did we see, first of all? 
So my mother pointed out a monarch butterfly. Yep. And I told her and everybody else that the monarch butterfly is poisonous. And then my dad looked it up and then he said, yes, they are poisonous. And we didn't know that. And where'd you and learn that? At homeschool and we're doing a homeschool field trip. Yeah. And so, so far on this field trip, we saw a little section about whippoorwills, which we learned about yesterday, reading My Side of the Mountain. Mm -hmm. We saw a monarch butterfly, which you taught us they're poisonous. And what'd when you I... tell us about the other one that looks like it? So there's another type of butterfly, I forgot the name of it, but it looks exactly like it. It's like a clone of it. But the cool part is, is that it's not poisonous. But what, so why does it look like it? What is that? How does that protect it? Um, because animals don't want to eat it or attack it because they know that there's another type of them that looks They know, yeah, so animals yeah. come to realize that they'll get sick if they eat a monarch butterfly. Mm -hmm. And so they don't, they don't go after that animals one. Animals will get sick or vom and vomit and yeah. stuff. Do you remember what it daddy's? Kill the animal no. Exactly, it just makes them sick. And at what point in the monarch butterfly's life stages does it uh, accumulate the poison? At the caterpillar stage. Very good. High five. I don't have a five to high you, but all right. Here, I'll hold the camera so you can get it. Here, a viceroy. That's the one that looks like. It. That's the one that looks yeah, like it. Viceroy. Does that sound familiar? Um, I don't think they told me that. Oh, okay. Just that like I dragonflies remember. flying around you. Yeah. All right, we ready to keep walking? You got a little break in the shade. You feeling better? What is what? Oh, oh wow. That is some sort of mushroom. That's a fun guy right there. That's a fun guy. I might have saw a hummingbird with like the long nose. Was it, was it real tiny? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So this is apparently lion's mane mushroom. If you don't have this app, it's called Seek, S-E-E-K, and you can take pictures of plants, insects, all sorts of stuff. And we use it a lot when we're on our walks, don't we? Mm-hmm. Hello. That we don't know. Stay up there, I'll get a picture. Okay. She's scared to jump out, but we say, you're not that far from the ground. Her feet are close. You can do it, ready? I already caught myself. Ready? One, two, three! You got it, you got it. That's why I said move your butt off the edge a little bit. There you go. One, two, three. You got it. You got it. Everyone's cheering you on. They're at home saying, go, Alice, go, go, yay. <coughs> Good thing you didn't break your glasses, but you also didn't break your butt. Yeah, Apparently this is the most fun they've had this whole trip. All right, Jackson, jump. He's gonna hang, isn't he? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Watch your back. Yeah, that other branch is getting closer to you. Let's go over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Jackson wants to tell us something else. I'm not sure if this is true, <laughs> but it might. No, it is, but what I don't exactly know. Do you guys know that this know? is true or not? Comment down below, please. Okay, so what's your fact? So I heard about this on another homeschool video, I believe. So, flowers will stay open in the day, and then it'll close in the night. Yeah, a lot of them do that. We just took a something? picture, these ones are, some of these buds are still closed, and this is called Look a swamp one. rose mallow. Look at these ones. <gasps> I'll just Butterfly. Do. Look at it. Oh, there it goes. It was right in front of us. This one's pretty, and there's a bunch of bees. Oh, there's a, I don't know what that is. It's like a little wormy thing. A bunch of bees in here. This is the most wildlife we've seen out here yet on this one bush. There's some minnows down there. If it's right in that clear water right there. Right there. It's gone. <laughs> in, the, in the east, the fishes bite the least. When the wind is in the west, then the fishes bite the best. When the wind is in the north, and the fishes do come forth. When the wind is in the south, it blows the bait in the fish's mouth. That rhyme just kind of kind of falls apart <laughs> and goes. Old English rhyme. <laughs> is that the Loch Ness Monster? It just says 
grass serpent. Oh. No, Jormungandr is a Norse. I figured with the way you said it and the way it's pronounced and spelled. Jackson, come here. Look at this fact. Can you read that? Berheim's forest catches and filters 20, <laughs> 21, so that's 1,000, 10,000, 3 million, 23 million, 723 million, 1 billion, 21 billion, 323. Uh, uh, you said 300. <laughs> 21 billion, uh -huh. 21 seven. million seven hundred twenty three million gallons of rain annually. <laughs> it's a lot of rain, isn't it? Yeah, you don't think? Kind of hard to see, but there's two deer out there. We're leaving the park now. They're just hanging out, eating, wagging their tails and butts at us.